And now, your first alert weather. Yeah, some passing showers over the past couple of days as we've been dealing with low pressure and some stormy weather. Uh, but we are clearing out slowly, and that's why it's been breezy today. We've been getting some of that wind out of the north, keeping our temperatures down. Also, some areas of fog and some gloominess this morning. We're able to move some of that cloud cover out this evening. But we still got some low clouds and some light precipitation happening here at Teton Pass. There, as we overlook Jackson Hole, we got temperatures right now into those 40s at the Jackson Airport with winds out of the southwest three miles an hour. Back into Pocatello and Idaho Falls, we have partly cloudy skies, 59 degrees, but still pretty breezy. We got the winds now out of the southwest at 16 miles an hour. And as we move over to Pocatello and the Farm Bureau Sky Cam, breezy conditions also out of the southwest at 59 degrees. And we're not seeing any moisture right now on First Lord Viper radar. You're getting some of that up on Teton Pass, but it's so light, it's being tough to pick up there on the radar scope. As we zoom it out, I want to show you that we do expect to see high pressure take hold over the next couple of days on into the weekend. This is going to be a ridge of high pressure that's going to push the jet stream well up into Canada. We've got this low pressure that's well off to the east. This is what we've been dealing with. Now, in the wake of the low pressure today, we've had the upper level winds out of the north pushing some clouds in our direction, also delivering some of that moisture yesterday and today in the form of some thunderstorms and some scattered showers. But as we transition into Thursday, we're going to see this ridge strengthen, and that's going to continue into Friday. Low pressure continuing to swing off towards the Midwest, and we have high pressure for Friday and Saturday right overhead with the jet stream well up into Canada. That's going to allow for some above average temperatures to take hold across the region, with highs getting back into some 60s and 70s. I want to show you, though, the Viper cast tonight. We still have some moisture late tonight early tomorrow morning in places like Yellowstone, Grand Teton National Park, and in areas close to Jackson, there's a slight chance of some light amounts of rain and snow. Tomorrow morning, there's some fog that's going to try to develop. We got high pressure working back in, but it's cold and we still have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and we have the recipe with the light winds to see some fog. Mainly sunny though once we shake off the fog tomorrow afternoon and we get a bit of some wet weather still hanging up here near Yellowstone for Thursday heading into early Friday. Friday, sunny and dry with warmer temperatures. Temperatures normally for this time of the year would be about 66 and look at this tomorrow. We are par for the course, but even warmer temperatures expected to ride in here for this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And it's gorgeous for the fall colors, especially as you get into central Idaho, the Snake Highlands and also back around the Wyoming state line. So we're going to be uh, seeing some great fall colors there, courtesy of that map, at courtesy of Explore Fall, I should say. 66 in Preston and 66 in Malad. We got lower 60s tomorrow in Lava with highs at 64 for Rexburg, 63 in Swan Valley with the lower 60s. 60s tomorrow for Driggs and Jackson, and it's a sunny outlook all the way into the weekend. Highs close to 70 this Saturday and Sunday. We do see some wet weather trying to roll in for Tuesday of next week, coming in late Monday through early Tuesday, and some clouds continuing into Wednesday. Rexburg on into the weekend. We're seeing highs here in the mid to upper 60s for Friday and Saturday. We should be hitting 70 by Sunday and Monday to get us started for a new week. Into central Idaho we go. It's temperatures right now at 62 for the temperatures tomorrow at 62 in Arco, 70 in Sam. 69 in Chalice and 69 in Stanley. Salmon's eight day forecast, low 70s for Thursday and Friday. We're pushing close to 80 for Sunday afternoon with a high of 77. Then we roll into the Snake River Plain with temperatures in Idaho Falls at 66. We got 69 for Pocatello, 67 in American Falls, and 65 for INL. Blackfoot's eight day forecast, lots of sunshine Thursday, Friday, and this weekend. Numbers will be pushing low 70s for highs Saturday and Sunday. But at night, we're dropping it back to the mid to upper 30s for those overnight lows. Pocatello, a similar outlook here with some nice daytime highs and some cool overnight temps. A high of 73 for Saturday and 74 for Sunday. Hold on to the dry weather at least through Monday, with Monday night showing us a few storm clouds trying to roll in for Tuesday of next week. Idaho Falls, 68 for Friday and 69 for Saturday. We're hanging out in the lower 70s for Sunday and Monday, but dry above average temperatures on into the weekend. Next round of wet weather arriving Tuesday. Todd. All right, nice weekend. Bring it on. Thanks. Consumer News Now. Stocks break a three-day losing streak today as Treasury yields pulled back.